Hi, my name is Roger and welcome. You might ask, what's the weather like where you are in the middle of Sweden? Well, it's okay. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's been better, it's been worse. And it's gonna be better and it's gonna be worse. We're gonna have sunny days and we're gonna have cold days and rainy days. And what do you do then? Well, I have uh, some suggestions for you. I've listed a few websites for home studios, which you can check out if you want to. So let's do it. These websites are a few of my go-tos when I want to explore new things, tutorials, reviews, find new gear, inspiration, things like that, when I have the time to do it. And what's better to do on a cloudy day when the inspiration lacks? Just to find new stuff to learn. And I've ranked these sites in order from my least favorites to my favorites. My least favorite that I still go to is actually a bunch of websites. It's the, all the Facebook groups that are for home studio recording and mixing. I don't think there's as much knowledge in those groups as on the other sites I will mention. But they are still a go-to for me when I want to learn something, communicate with other home studio people. And especially, I think, if you have a group in your own language, if you're not English speaking natively, I tend to go more to the Swedish group Hem Studio Gruppen than I go to the English site on Facebook. We actually have a great summer in Sweden, both days. Next on my list are all the forums for your door. No matter what door you have, you will have at least one or two forums that will explore your door and you will find tips and tricks on how to use your door, problem solving and so on. But you can also find tips and tricks for recording and mixing. If you want to know what microphone to use for an acoustic guitar, you will probably find that even in that forum. I've listed a few of them below. If you have other suggestions, please leave them in the comments so we all can learn from each other. Say hi to Birger. Don't ask. I don't know. But I do know about a few more websites. I have three more on my list and they are all on number one. These are my go-to websites when I want to explore new things, get inspiration, more knowledge and so on. You probably already know about these websites and if you don't, you probably have lived under a rock or you have not been interested or you're new in the game and therefore I tell you anyway. The first of those three is SOS, Sound on Sound magazine. This is a magazine that has reviews on new gear, articles, interviews, even studio tours, podcasts, video and a rather good forum. All kinds of things. If you're interested in new gear, especially hardware gear, this is the site for you. I remember before the real days of internet, I mean 10-15 years ago, when they still have had physical magazines, I used to buy them, even though they were pretty expensive, at least in Sweden, I would say about $15 for a magazine. I still bought it, especially if I had a train journey or something. I would buy a Sound on Sound magazine and it would last me for hours. And this site really lasts for hours as well. Really good. Check it out. Next on the list is maybe the most famous of the websites and that's KVR Audio. If you don't know about this, you should really explore this site. And it's endless. You will find yourself sitting in hours just watching things on this site. Here you will find plugins, free plugins, plugins for your door, special plugins if you're searching for some kind of special phase shift distortion plugin, they will have it listed. They also have a great article section where they have interviews, but also lists. I was searching for the best Mini Moog emulation the other day. Of course, they had an article about it. They also have a good forum of course, like all websites do. And the best thing about this forum is that they have official forums for some of the most famous manufacturers like Arturia or Melda. So you can find problem solving or tips and tricks for those plugins 
in this forum. Great site. Before I tell you about the last website on this list, please tell me if I have forgotten any of the great websites or something I didn't know about, please leave that in the comments. My favorite, my go-to, is a website called Gearspace. Actually, it was, it was called Gearsluts before, Gearsluts. A more suitable name, in my opinion, because we are Gearsluts. That's what we are. Here you can ask questions in the forum. You have a list of uh, plugins and hardware, and you can compare sheep and pro gear. Uh, also, a great studio design and uh, acoustic uh, treatment forum section. And many of the pros and many of the manufacturers actually answer the questions in this forum. And that's mostly why I like it. You also get news about events, mixing contests, all those things as well. Check out Gearspace, it's a really good website. Yeah, and by the way, website in Swedish is Hemsida. Hemsida. Until next time, roll you that.